runs in the series than uh, any other Australian batsman, but not so many as John Edridge. It's off the pad. I think one should point out, Peter, that there's been quite a number of overs delivered from around the wicket by the quicker bowlers on both sides in this match. And it seems to me that the balls from Underwood, which have turned this morning, have been pitched outside the off stump. And probably there is a little bit of rough there caused by the, the quicker bowlers. And that looked out certainly from here. And look at uh, Derek Underwood, absolutely thrilled. Given out by umpire Fag, a tremendous early blow for England. And Chapel on the back foot, and I must say from here he looked absolutely plucked. Doug Waters, the batsman, on one. That's out. Caught behind, and what a vicious delivery. Landing on or just outside leg stump and spinning shoulder high through to Alan Knott. And no wonder Derek Underwood's pursing his lips there. And the fieldsmen are moving around to look at that spot. That really was a vicious delivery. And it's Derek Underwood's 100th wicket of the season. It must be out. John Snow. Good catch, moving quickly to his left, and Paul Sheehan, the fifth Australian wicket to fall. The ball from Illingworth, that just jumped a little bit. Sheehan trying to force it away on the onside. Didn't quite get over the top of it, and Snow took a splendid catch, moving quickly to his left. Instead of the sun has gone in here, but the clouds are thin and high in the sky. Snow then to bowls and jump. And that's steered through for four. Jarman gets another four. And uh, having said the clouds are thin, the rain is coming down. Uh, coming just into our commentary box and certainly coming down now. And the umpires there are asked by the fielders what they thought about it. In fact, Jarman has to just ask for Cowdery. Cowdery wants to go on, and now it's up to the umpires to decide. They're now going to discuss the rain, because Cowdery wants to go on, the batsmen don't. This is the procedure for bad weather. And they're coming in. They're coming in early then. After one ball from John Snow, hit for four by Jarman, they've come in because of this rain. A lunchtime storm leaves the Oval awash in England in despair, but a great effort by ground staff and volunteers gets it dry again by 4.45. 75 minutes to go. For 40 of those minutes, England frustrated by the ease of the pitch. But it's Dolivera who opens the door. But I think Colin Cowdery has tried every possible permutation of the bowlers in the last 35 minutes. And the wicket has proven to be the winner. He's out. Well, there we are. There's the first wicket. Dolivera has got it. An involuntary sort of shot from Jarman. Seemed to me he was withdrawing his bat too late. 110, that doesn't matter. Six down. Another victim for Alan Knott in this match. Four to get. Now Underwood at this end. To bowl to Mallet. batted for three hours in the first Australian innings. He's out! Caught! Caught by Brown. And that one lifted. Brown delighted. Not a difficult catch. So Mallet is out. Second ball. Three to get. So one ball to go in this over. Ten men round the bat. Doesn't matter about the fours or sixes, runs don't matter at all. Ooh, he's out, is he caught? Look at Brown, look at Dave Brown, he's gone, and that was a better catch. More difficult because he had to go right, right low for it. Oh, what a day is Dave Brown having. And Underwood too.
eight down and five of them to Derek Underwood. Five for 44 at the end of that over. 28 overs and 17 maidens. 14 minutes to go and two wickets to fall. Underwood to Gleeson. Coming in round the wicket this time, Underwood. And he got him. Burn him. Off stump, knocked out of the ground. And Australia are 120 for nine with just one wicket to go. Whole test series depending on this. That's the end of that over, so it'll be in variety to play Underwood. Illingworth, 28 overs, 18 maidens, one for 30. There's the Australia score with just these eight minutes or so left. Here's Underwood coming up now for his 31st over. All the fielders there in your picture. And they've been there most of the day. This has been the field placing for most of the day with the occasional man out in the covers, but for the last half hour, they've all been round the bat. Inverarity has been there for four hours, 10 minutes, a superb innings for this country. And the series is drawn. There's Colin Cowdery, the happiest man on the field. Underwood has taken seven wickets for 50 runs. Being completely mobbed. What a wonderful scene. There's Colin Cowdery. He snatched victory from what looked like a certain draw when that rain came. Underwood's figures, 31 overs, 3 balls, 18 maidens and 7 for 50. Admittedly on a pitch which Helped him a little bit now, but a magnificent bowling performance. 